Walker, people like I get two reactions. People, oh, they're like, oh, that's really cool. You know, that's amazing. You have like the best job in the world, or you have an answer. It's like, oh, okay. <coughs> Their image is that we just like work all day in the park, but our job involves so much more than that. I love what I do, so I don't really care what other people would think about it. Dog heaven. This is the best place where you can leave your dog. This is a place where dogs are happy. This is where they exercise. This is where they go nuts. This is where they poop. I'm the guy with the best job in the world. I'm the guy that basically made his dreams happen. Made his dreams become his job. Made his dreams become his reality. This is Nala. And with dogs, the process of swimming always starts before they actually get in the water. So as you can see, Nala is warming up. She's revving the engine. Starts, she goes for it, and then as soon as you put her in the water, it's like a little ginger torpedo. There you go. Come on up. Go, 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 good girl. Nala. Well done. Well done, that's amazing. Well done. Yay. Nicely done. All right, sweetie. I'm a groomer in London Wolf. I'm from Brazil. With this company, basically, I have all the support that I need to give to these this little loving ones that I just love to be with. In here, I can give them not just a haircut. I will just try to give them the best, actually, experience that they could have. Now we're just gonna go to pick up one of our vans, which is just back from the service. It has been fixed, hopefully, and it's all fine now. How are you? Not bad, not bad. Has been tested. Tested. It's all good. Yeah, run it. Running, running as it is. Yeah. Okay. Thank you very much. Oh, talk to you yeah, soon. Yeah, Take See care. You. At some point, my dear boss Art said, "I'm a superhuman. I don't think I am, but I think uh, I." remember a lot of things uh, so my memory certainly helps a lot to to keep things going and basically organization to make sure everything is happening uh, and if if 10 things happening at the same time to put those things into the right place you see everything is fenced around we had a few houdinis who tried to sneak out but touch wood we got absolute 100 percent success in that sense Nobody managed to sneak out from here. It's all fenced around. Nice place for the dogs, but then again, it's very, very safe. So all the dogs can be off the lead, playing together, even those ones who are not great when it comes to recall. This is my lovely assistant, Lola. It's, it's so many tiny things it, it needs to work fine. From the moment we're collecting the dog until we're returning the dog after boarding with us, the food, the, all, all the tiny little instructions, feeding instructions, many occasions there's medication, uh, um, so many, so many tiny things we need to make sure it's, it's worked perfectly. Just gonna see how Vera will enjoy going for a little dip. Let's just see how she's gonna be. There you go. Good girl. Nice steering with the tail. Come on, Vera. This is the 
think she normally adores water. Every time we do something with water, she goes absolutely nuts. But yet, she's not the most comfortable swimmer. There you go. go. I look after Wolf Group's social media. I just love the way they, it's like children, but better, because they're fluffy. Um, but they just, they have this genuine affection towards you. Like if a dog comes and, and licks you, especially a dog that perhaps was scared and uncomfortable before, it's just such a genuine feeling, you know? If a person comes and tells you like, oh yeah, it was so nice. You don't know what it actually is behind those words, but if a dog expresses their love, is just so real and most of the time it is love it's nothing else it's very easy to get lost in the happiness of wolf group once you're inside but i think when we speak to to people who have never heard of us they instantly assume that we are a kennel and they think that oh you know dogs are in cages and they probably just bark all the time and they're really unhappy and it's just the way it works and i feel like People don't understand how happy this place is, how happy the dogs are, how useful it is for the dogs to have the sociable experience. It's not a place that you should need to feel guilty about. I sometimes speak to the owner and, and they say, oh, you know, I'm so, I feel so guilty that I need to send her off again and I can't spend time with her. But the dogs love it here. They come back home and, and you know, they're so happy. They see us in the morning and they just can't contain the excitement. And I want to show that to people. I want to encourage people to, bring their dogs here, not because of business, but because the dogs are so, so happy. It's part of the job. Sometimes it's good to stay here so you can see people coming in, coming out. So you can have chat with them, you know, to get new friends, let's say. I love my dogs. They're not random dogs anymore. I like to be with them, to spend my time with them. I like to take care of them. My favorite part of the job is uh, when I pick the dogs up in the morning and I see them uh, for first time maybe on Monday after the full weekend or if they went on holidays after some weeks without seeing them. That's awesome. Uh, even if I'm in bad mood or I'm having a really, really bad day, that makes me happy. For me, it's a little bit different from, from the corporate world, which, which normally I worked before. This one certainly it's a, it's a little bit more colourful. There's always see some, some new chaps, some new dogs and uh, in, in that sense I think it's quite amazing and rewarding as well to, to see and to be around dogs. I think if we stop ourselves and look a little bit more are the way how the animals they behave between them and with them. We will know a little bit, we will know much better uh, how, to, how to behave between us. Because the human race is forgetting a little bit about love, about caring, about sharing. Good girl, yes, yeah, she is brilliant. She is brilliant, this girl. have to bring a lot of love lots of love because that's you know that's what dogs do that like they give you this you know like enormous in, infinite amount of love and it's just like naturally you just give it back and you have to be very patient and caring because you know the 
You love them. There's a lot of dog people which uh, they don't have this creative streak that many of the guys that work for London Wood do have. We genuinely love them. For most of most of the times, whenever we are hiring somebody new, this is the first and the most important question: Are you crazy about dogs? We are actually interviewing somebody today. We have a new person, hopefully, joining our team. Uh, hopefully, you can find out why did they want to join us? Why did they find London Wolf the best place to work? Dogs are my passion, and it's about time that I followed my passion. So I got in touch, seeing if there was anything available that I could be helping out with, whether that was dog walking or just coming in and socialising. I've got a lab retriever cross back home, so. I've just always loved dogs growing up with them as well so um, because he's back home obviously I miss him terribly so I'm definitely getting my dog fix in by being here as well. To me it's just being happy, just enjoying life and not fearing my old age and the regret that I would face if I don't do stuff that makes me happy. I just feel like a lot of people understand that way too late in life that you should just do what what you enjoy not what your friends family society expects from you it's just what makes you happy rather than what should make you happy according to someone else the fear of missing out and the regret in the older age made me realize that it's probably just worth doing whatever you like i always want to be with animals because that's what it makes me happy that's what it keeps me going. That's what it makes me wake up every morning. I have already some courses about animals and that's what I'm gonna carry on doing. I wanna maybe one day do some surgeries, you know, on these little babies. I wanna help them. That's what, I, that's what I'm planning to do. Not just the population of humans, but the population of animals, they will need a good, a good service that they'll take care of the old ones, the young ones, all the kinds. Because I want to do a TED talk. Um, I don't know yet about what I'm going to talk. Probably it's going to be very like empowering stuff about purpose of life, happiness, mind engineering, stuff like that. What we say to ourselves in private, it, it has a huge impact. Huge. So. I just don't want to, you know, tell people that you can do this and just like it's all in your head. Just everything is in your head. This Millie, and she's a white one. <laughs> I want to do photography for the rest of my life and I want to be living in a nice house so I can have at least three dogs at the same time. Is it good to be selfish? My friend once said that if everybody in the world would look after themselves, everybody in the world would be taken care of. So, to a degree, yes. I always want to make sure that I'm safe and I'm okay, and that gives me more energy uh, for helping out others, I guess, and looking after them. It's not about the bank account, it's not about how much money you make, it's it's about whether you go to sleep happily and whether you wake up thinking that oh my god I have to do it again or whether you're actually excited.